like 11 shots in. We're like 12. No, it was, oh, so you're right, 12. I got you, hold on, here we go. <laughs> How much Fernet do you think we drank last night? I know for sure that we had 10 bottles. Can't really say no to her. She stares you down. I was like, do you want to have fun or not? <laughs> my name is Helen Wen. I'm the chef owner of Saigon Social, a Vietnamese restaurant in the Lower East Side. Hi, my name is Jen Seisu. I'm the owner of Fish Cheeks in NoHo and currently partner at Saigon Social. Saigon Social is amazing. I mean, Helen is a rock star. We are serving Vietnamese modern comfort food. A lot of the dishes are from her family recipe, from her own recipe, her twist on Vietnamese food, and everything is delicious. Soft shell crab season just started, so we'll do garlic noodles with fried soft shell crab. There's like a new renaissance, I feel, like happening with Vietnamese cuisine right now, and I wanted to offer something that, like, just drawing inspirations from my travel, from, like, my studies, to create something new, and that's special and unique. Sasha crab. We usually get them the first week of, of April. Oh, I just love the meat. It's really, really nice and tender and juicy, and it pairs really well with our garlic noodles. You draw a lot of inspiration from, like, YouTube and restaurants that I dine at, and then, if I really like something, then I'll come back like a couple of times and then I'll go home and just try to like make my rendition of it and just keep playing with it. Last night. <laughs> we forget about it. <laughs> I remember actually, I didn't black out. No, Helen's a, a strong drinker. The key is you have to eat. <laughs> You eat and you pace yourself and know your limits. I think with the amount of drinking, you know, if you're with Helen, you know that it's not gonna stop, right? Excuse like, you? So those garlic noodles were key. Uh, you're such an indicator. Yeah. So Helen has a wow. nickname. My friends are liars. So I say Kim is a professional hype woman. Woo! This is our second time. It's true. Time out. I feel drunk, drunk already. <laughs> Sarah is sounding bored. Oh, bored. thank God. She's psychologist. All right, what's Emily in the group? Mom. 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 <laughs> okay, what's Jen? Jen sees dollar signs everywhere. Yes, yes. She opens her eyes and then all she sees is dollar signs. If it don't make dollar, it don't make sense. <laughs> the theme of the night was Fernet about it. So the goal was to have Fernet everywhere we went, to start and end the night with Fernet. And I think we succeeded. I actually had some problems with my digestive system many years ago, and so one of my bartender friends in Seattle was like, I have a remedy for you. And I was like, no, it, it smells horrible. After the fourth or fifth time, I was like, oh, I actually feel a lot better. So we're gonna go across the street okay. to hear the dog. <laughs> they are across the street. It's very easy access for us. The owner is amazing, AJ's the man. Helen goes there, you know, any time of the day. Sometimes she gets stressed out, she runs over, and then runs right back. Go for a hug and come back. <laughs> so when we first signed the lease, I was like, oh, hair of the dog. Oh, you know, so rowdy, so just gonna be too much trouble. And then throughout the pandemic, got to know them, and anytime we needed like a, a drill, a hammer, ice, towels, they were always there. Fernet? Fernet. Well, no, they, they didn't have Fernet. Oh, really? Until three weeks ago. Cheers, 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 cheers. What number is that? Two. You can do, you can do. Save it. Four. Four. Mom, you're keeping count. We're four. Okay. Four statistics. Okay, okay. Izzy, can we also get some buffalo wings and um, mozzarella sticks? Mozzarella sticks and double cheeseburger. Buffalo wings. Fried Oreos. Their double stack cheeseburgers, really delicious. What else did we order? Fried Oreos. Fried Oreos. <laughs> I love fried Oreos, okay? I think that's like childhood memories. The last bites are good. I think all the filling is in there. Yeah, all the filling is in here. I love them. Emily doesn't like fast food. She also doesn't like anything that's really deep fried. With me, it's like anything that has lard in it, just give it to me. She's saying that concept is not good, coming from a Canadian who eats fries doused in like sauce. So the whole time she's like, oh no, fried Oreos, that's disgusting. What are you doing? Wait, is that chocolate? Chocolate. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> it's like a chicken battered Oreo. <laughs> The highlight was the people. I really enjoy their staff. Like when you go in, there's just this special synergy. Everyone has really great personality, really great energy. It's very warm and welcoming. It's like your cheers. Hi, my name is Hi. We're here. 
We're gonna forget about it. <laughs> That's the point. Are you, are you keeping count? Yes. Maybe eight, nine. We're, We're going to Compagnie. Oh, love that place. So classy. This area is called, like considered, what, Little Paris? Did you know that? Is it really? Mm hmm Well, did you make that up? No. <laughs> they thought I made it up. And then, lo and behold, we get out of the van, and the very first sign was Little Paris. You thought I was making this up. Yeah, I thought no, you but it's not the up. area. It's the name of the like, building they or something. Read. Welcome. Yeah, Welcome. Welcome. This is a wine that Ben Haynes in South Australia made for us. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for having no. us. Yes. It's too long. I know nothing about wine. And so it's the reason why I do frequent company. Sometimes I go by myself just to decompress. Sometimes I'll bring a group of friends. It's refreshing. It's so good. It's yeah. refreshing. refreshing. It's like going to, to a wine class, but then with a friend. All your staff's good looking. Yeah. <laughs> it starts from the top. And apparently the, the girls really enjoyed it too for very different reasons. They have very good looking stabs over there. I mean, like whoever is doing the hiring, is, <laughs> you know. Whoever's single, she's still single and available. Okay, look at this pretty face. I'm married, I have a child and you know. Like Work-life balance, it, okay? It's called Baby Saigon Social. <laughs> <laughs> what should we eat? Do you guys know how much is not eating vegetables? I do eat vegetables. Yes. Pickles Yeah, pickles Yeah, whatever's not a bond bean. Do you need help? It's called Chef's Night Out. Have a chef night out. Yeah. <laughs> the menu is ever-changing. I feel like every week there's a special, really great grilled cheese. I also, you know, really enjoy like their meat and cheese boards as well, too. All right, all right. Start it up. Some cold cream over here. Thank you. And then seasoned chicory salad. Dashu and black chocolate. Caviar dressing with um, bath, bath yeah. and cheese. Yeah. Hamachi um, powder. Is it from the Aqua Besti? It's Aqua Besti. Aqua Besti. Um, saffron, Calabrian chili honey, black lava salt from Iceland, little. Uh, is that gnocchi? That's, that's gnocchi with clam chowder sauce and oyster cracker bread crumbs. Get out of here. People really love wine and like wine pairing, so I should make sure that I put an honest effort into learning more so that I can share. But it's just like, <laughs> and then I sleep. The chef was so nice. He went out and got you bodega coffee. Yes. Chefs need their caffeine, chef. We're like 11 shots in. We're like 12. No, it was 12. Oh, you're right, 12, 12, 12. We're 12 shots in. 12 yes. shots, but drunk level. Oh. oh. I'm at a, like a four. I like four. Okay. Oh, sure, I have mine. Oh, I have okay. yours. Wait, can Cheers. you switch right there? Don't oh, worry, I got you, I got you, I got you. I got you, hold on, here we go. <laughs> Cheers, one, two, three. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> After company, we went to Sushi Ishikawa, one of my favorite go-to spots, especially if I'm, you know, able to get a Saturday evening off. Guess what I have? <laughs> hey, Chef! Hi, Hi, Hi. 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 What did I do? Chef Don, second generation Vietnamese sushi chef. Pre-pandemic, when they still sat people at the bar, it was just basically the Don Fam show. You go, you get really good sushi. Definitely not traditional. What I really appreciate and enjoy is that he uses a lot of different Vietnamese ingredients, like some of the cured stuff he has, like fish sauce, fried shallots, basil. All I remember was just that, like every piece and every bite were super delicious. It's so good. It was this bite, I took a picture, that was beautiful. It was like a leaf with ikara. Lobster, lobster. That was like a beautiful piece of art. The medai was delicious. With the lime, with the lime leaf? Lime yes. leaf salt, yes. yes. That was, that really, was really, really, very, good. very good. Like it melts in your mouth. It pairs buzz. so well with Fernet. <laughs> <laughs> Was it the cuttlefish that the cuttlefish we were all, was like, so the, that good. was the white piece, right? Mm. Oh, the black sable is one of my favorites. There's a few things that he switches off, but the black sable has always been like a constant. So so good. Oh well, yes, the toro crab, and then also is it truffle wagyu? No, yes, no, but we have to yes, we have, you have to drink with us. Fernet. It's very good. It's good for you. It's good for you. We um, had fernet, <laughs> and then some sake. Some more for Nat. Cheers. 
He's just a really great person. Like to me, it's like I, I enjoy coming to visit, having these conversations with him. I think over the last like two years or so, he's become like a mentor in many ways. When I'm there with friends, we try to be very cognizant, you know, to speak English. But when it's just he and I, then it's like being able to converse in, in Vietnamese is very comforting, and it's it's you know it's. Just a very special relationship, you know, that I don't get to experience a lot. You know, depending on the night, if I'm able to stay a little bit longer, he'll call his wife and say, hey, Helen's here, gonna be home late. You know, next thing you know, it's like three o'clock in the morning, and we're like still drinking sake and eating sushi. Sushi to go for the team. It's nap time. It's power nap time. Oh my God, look at Jen. She's like out like a light bulb. All the girls were sleepy. <laughs> There's a lot of food. I needed a power nap. She was the first one out. The minute we stepped into the van, she's like, like a light bulb. I just need to recharge. But give me 15, 30 minutes and I'm like back. I'm ready to party again. <laughs> <laughs> Can you wake up Miss, uh, Miss Thailand? She's good, she's good. <laughs> so after Sushi Ishikawa, we went back to home base, Saigon. So it's nice to go home. And we were ready to party again because I believe a lot of people were here. Who was here last night? Rich Ho came uh, with his wife, Jihan from Naminori. Eric from Company, after his shift, he came over and joined us. Winston, who basically manned the kitchen while we were gone. And then our friend Drew, who used to work here. It happened to be his day off, and we had, you know, that was the other favor that we had to call in, and he was helping to manage and take care of everyone in the front. And then, then like a bunch of our former staff members showed up, so it was a, it was a nice reunion of sorts. Emily, yes. She's like, I'm getting sleepy, I need to work. If I don't work, I'm gonna sleep. So then... Because Emily doesn't drink, you know? <laughs> I think for her to be in the environment where everyone's taking shots and drinking, she likes to help. Josh made sinigang and then a Filipino beef stew. Greg made a Burmese catfish stew yeah. with fried chickpea noodles. Those noodles and soft egg. egg. Yeah. Oh, so good. So, so good and like so necessary at that point in the evening. Oh, and then chicken wings too. He made some really great chicken wings. Perfect amount, like, you know, small bites here and just when you think that, okay, you're starting to hit a wall, another one comes and then you find like this other pocket in your stomach. <laughs> I actually think Last night was very mellow. We've had some crazier nights. No way! At the end of the night, you were at 20 something counts of Fernand shots. When do you think the next time is you'll have a night out like this? Probably within the next like couple weeks. It happens always, like it just randomly. I'm detoxing. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> we need to give the staff the break, right? I think it had to like kind of wrap up somewhere for us to kind of lead everyone out of the restaurant and move into a new space. And everyone came over and we partied a little bit more. I like